do we think that it's going to sort of go back to the old way of doing things when people return to an office and, you know, you can go back into an auditorium and you can do things like that? Or do we think we're still going to uh, predominantly have this sort of remote production uh, environment going on? We've had a couple of false starts in terms of just going back in the office, but at LinkedIn in general, it's been a fair amount of people now starting to go back into the office. So the office for us would be Bay Area predominantly. Um, so we're starting to see, and I was actually surprised at how much just the office in terms of going back in, the normal was there where people were slotting back in. I mean, you're wearing masks, you're doing all these different things, but there's definitely a group of folks who appreciate being present in the office for their work. I could see that carrying over to be present for, um, for conversations and having discussions and, and streaming that. It will be both, right? So now we have the ability to bring in, so in the past where we did everything on site and now that we're doing everything virtual, it, it will be both and it'll be figuring out how to, how to how to tie those two together. Um, so I do see it, I think it's just, just all about degrees again, how much of a mix, and it may be different between companies, it may be different between the kind of um, shows that we're doing, our internal things. We may have a fair amount of people that, that come in because they wanna, they wanna meet their coworker and, and, and talk. Our, our virtual shows, our external facing ones may well still be, um, still be a, a much larger, uh, remote audience, which it always was. Like our our shows that we would do in Vegas, you'd have whatever we, we had there, a thousand people, two thousand, whatever the number was there, and we'd have multiples of that watching watching the stream. So the conversation, which I'm sure is where you're going with this, is well, how do you how do you address both with the same content that's going out there? And that's that's the challenge that we're facing now. How do we think about what people are, how they're going to take the information, but also should everybody get the same information? Do you have to, you know, some people would have chat because they're online. Other people are going to have the benefit of talking to the person next to them. Those are both benefits. I don't see that one like excludes the other. It's just kind of tailoring your content to those different audiences. So I do see it as, as a mix. And I think if I was a betting man, I would think it's actually going to go further on, on site than I would have thought. I didn't think it would, but I'm starting to see that. Because if I could, if I could drive the four miles to Huntington to go to Stream Media West, um, it's not quite as long a trip as yours, but I would because mm -hmm. I get to to hang out with you guys and actually have a conversation, and grab a grab a meal, and all those other pieces. So I do see it as straying a little further than I originally thought. First, I thought the world's completely changed; we're all staying at home forever. We're never going back in. So I guess I'm cautiously optimistic that we'll get back. But let's not lose sight of the financial gains from a business perspective of people not traveling for almost two years. <laughs> and, you know, coming, speaking as someone from, from business, not necessarily industry, I have a very, very vested interest in making sure that I am providing a service to Deloitte that is going to maintain as much benefit of hybrid and collaboration and connection with our clients that can happen without having to be at a client site. And while, you know, I agree with Dan, there is absolutely value in that conversation of when do I need to be there and when do I not? If, if we can't make hybrid successfully work in the day-to-day -day business world, then I start to lose those people to, I'm going to benefit if I'm there live. So from a technology perspective, it's in our interest and my team's interest and my leader's interest to make sure that our technology is not just easy to use, easy to understand, but that our clients are really seeing value in why we're investing in this direction so that in the end, we're still staying profitable and, you know, Ma maintaining as many people not traveling as possible. 